orchestrating this wonderful run that they are on. Just one defeat at home this season in a 4-3 thriller against Leeds, but they could be behind early here. Sam Bell into the arms of Fladke, who quickly sends the ball upfield to Broadhead. The bus is packed, full of Ipswich fans. Lovely build-up from Bristol City. Space, acres of space for Sykes. If he can be found, he enters the box. Marshall back by Leif Davis oh. into the box. It goes Conway straight into the gloves, though of the goalkeeper had Platke. But that's where, for me, Sykes isn't just the defender, is he? Broadhead into Jackson. Space here for Morsey in those fluorescent boots. It's Chaplin from range and he... It's a comfortable one in the end for Max O'Leary. Says the boys are hungry for this fixture tonight. Defending to do, here's Luongo. Luongo from range and a decent stop from Max O'Leary had time to react and parries it out for a corner. Yeah, again they managed to get... Yeah, what I'm concerned about slightly is the amount of time some of the Ipswich players have got on the ball. Another big chance now, too much space and it's fired past Max O'Leary. All too easy. And it's Nathan Broadhead with the goal. Stares into the whites of the home fans' eyes. And you called it, Chris. Far too much room. An early goal and the away end goes wild. Yeah, too much time on the edge of the box. Campering using his strength and that acceleration. Referee kneeled, unfazed. And now Bristol City can come again through Gardner Hickman. Space for him to move into. Skips past several oh. players. Gardner Hickman shoots. And Fadke tips it over the crossbar for a Bristol City corner. Brandon Williams organises his feet, releases the pass, but it was a wayward one. Bristol City back in possession, but as you said about Ipswich, Bristol City their own worst enemy this time. Here's Hurst, fires the shot into the palms, stings the palms of Max O'Leary, and Chaplin keeps it alive. Chance again for Broadhead. Vyman needs to be careful. Luongo this time. Chance for Jackson. Eventually, Pring, with an unorthodox pass, finds Mark Sykes. Carnage. Oh, absolute carnage. I mean, he's done exactly what's been asked of him so far as the manager of Ipswich. Only bettered in the league last season, of course, by the irrepressible Plymouth Argyle. Been defending to do for his side, though, towards the end of this first half as we tick down towards any added time. Here's Chaplin, gets the call from Davis, bursts away from Sykes. Jackson arrives, as does Hurst, but the cross this time is poor. Cries a shoot from range off the upright. My words, what an effort. Luongo with a looping ball over the top, looking for the really dangerous Davis. O'Leary off his line. Fine stop from Bristol City's number one, but the danger's not passed. Here's Hurst. Smashes it across the edge of the six-yard box. It's gobbled back up by Luongo. will be Tommy Conway straight into the gloves of the goalkeeper. He did slightly spill it. He did what he needed to do there, Tommy Conway, but here's Hutchinson. Hutchinson, one foots Roberts completely still with Hutchinson. Nobody closing him down. And eventually it whistles past the post, but he wasn't particularly well supported there, Roberts, when he made the slip. Yes. Gap in midfield, Knight spots the run of Cornick. Off goes Harry Cornick into a dangerous area. Yeboah was waiting. Cornick wins it back. Cornick shoots off the upright. Is it over the line? Kept out. Oh. Still alive for Bristol City. And somehow... How did that stay out? The ball hasn't gone over the line. It almost rolled along the line. I don't know if it was... Well, wow. everyone was stood up on their feet. It looked as if it... Wipes the ball down. Arcs is back. Launches it into the box. It's a punch from the goalkeeper. Maybe had room to collect it. Still we go on. Cornick back in. Nodded towards goal by Dickey. Past the post. That was the big chance. Decent cross into the...